The boundless sea captivates me through the lapping of the waves and the silence in the sand. The sea has been gently rocking me for centuries, calling me to its beloved shore. From the depths I saw the radiant sun on the horizon, the reflection of the sky and the movement of the sea, and the joy of the mischievous dolphins. Drawing closer, I spotted a small town in the full sails of a tiny boat drifting into dreamland. As a result of research on Lochin's climate, which was published publicly by Ambrose Horacic, the Austrian doctor Konrad Karl came to the island of Lochin with his sick son. His son was cured at the expense of the island's climate. In 1892, the then Ministry of Health and the Austro-Hungarian monarchy declared Mali and Veli Lochin a climatic health resort. Both in the past and today, the island of Lochin can boast of successful treatments. One of the cured is Max Russo. Max struggled with severe asthma symptoms for several years until a friend told him about the miraculous island of Lochin. Ко се пришел на Лошин, се зачути мочо тока. По темних месеци рехабилитација се задиха со полни ми плучи. Лошинска чудежна клима ми омогочила мирна обдобја пред болезни, така да се се лако уклучив во нормално живење. You have been on the island for 25 years. What made you decide to stay? Odlučio sam se da bom ostao na otoku in tu začel novo življenje. V stvari sem si družino in delal kot kolomar, ker pomagam drugim, da najdejo pot in zaživijo na novo. The Lošin archipelago has had great strategic importance throughout history. Most of the military buildings were built during the Austro-Hungarian and Italian occupation, and then they were taken over by the Yugoslav People's Army. Steven Slavov was a former soldier of the Yugoslav People's Army who served the army on the island of Lošin. Lošin ima presej objektov. Na Velopinu je oskrivovalna baza narejena za skranjevanje goriva in torpeda. Za prevoz so uporabljali železico. Na nasprotni strani i hriba je tovar, hrib tovar iz Austro-Ugrskega obdobja na območju okoli glavne od trbe več manjših bunkerjev, namenjeni težkim mitraljezom. Rad bi pozval obiskovalce, da se izogibljaju v vojarskim objektom, ki so privez nevarni. Saj so obsojeni na prepad. The island of Lošin is one of Croatia's most magical hidden gems and the perfect escape for every season. Amongst the most stunning bays and tranquil pine forests of the island are located hotels, villas, apartments, and camps. Creative master chefs Tell the most beautiful stories of the island with specialties that you can taste either in restaurants awarded with a Michelin star, in the city center, or in nature. Rest doesn't always have to mean lounging in the sun, or relaxing under the shade of the pines. Lochin and the surrounding islands offer many activities throughout the year. From hiking, to cycling, tennis, and water sports, as well as boat trips, and panoramic flights over the Lochin archipelago. In Mali Lochin, you can find a museum dedicated to the ancient bronze statue of Apoxiomenes, about 2,000 years old, which was discovered near the island of Lochin. Lochin is an island with some truly beautiful scents. This fragrant garden shows all the treasure of the island's most significant scents. It has over 250 wild herbs expanding scents through the island Lochin. Lochin is also known for its famous sailors, who brought a wide amount of unfamiliar flora to the island. More than 100 of these alotone wild herbs complete this garden's image. Garden plant habitats are framed by stone drywalls, grimaces, compounded in the tradition of island folk architecture. 
There is a restaurant in the garden, where you can try homemade food, and enjoying a wonderful view of the bays of Loshin all the way to the Velvet Mountain. The people of Loshin have always been sailors. The sailboat was restored to resemble the local lugger ships, from the late 19th century. It is moored in front of the Museum of Apox Imnos, and in a modern, interesting, and interactive manner, it presents and interprets the long and rich maritime history of the island of Loshin. However, the most valuable legacy is not preserved in the museums and churches, but in the islanders themselves and their way of life. The tradition is not just kept alive by festivities, but also by authentic cuisine, fishing, and their care of the olive trees and sheep.